सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स टूडेज वीडियो विल बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू ऑल्सो डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन योर प्रोजेक्ट इन द पावर बी इंटरव्यू ओके सो आई हैव बीन आज टू क्रिएट अ वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक सो मेनी टाइम्स बाय सो मेनी पीपल सो फाइनली आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस वन फॉर यू ऑल एंड यू नो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रोजेक्ट इन अ वेरी इफेक्टिव वे विद ऑल द की पॉइंट्स इंक्लूडेड इन इट बिकॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट गिव्स यू द कॉन्फिडेंस योर नर्वसनेस इज गॉन and at the end it creates a positive image in the interviewer's mind that yes this person has the industry knowledge okay so without wasting any time let's start the video and before that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos okay so this is the framework or the format that you have to remember okay in this format only you have to discuss about your project in front of the interviewer iprcto we will discuss one by one each of each one of them okay let's start with i what is i so if i click here i i is intro so in the intro you have to follow top down approach here first give a brief introduction of the product and then second the particular project you have worked upon or you are still working on okay now let me explain you through an example okay i am considering here d decker d decker is a brand which is uh, endorsed by sharukh khan i am just taking a random example here so consider it as an example okay so d decker it is basically related to curtains and fabrics that are used in interiors at our homes so d decker is your product and your project is related to supply chain management of its different varieties okay so in this way you have told about the name of the product what it is about and how is your project related to this product okay so in this way you have to describe the intro and if you are a fresher or an aspiring data analyst then pick the most complex report that you have built till that day and discuss about that okay so this is all about intro okay now let's move to the next point that is p what is p p is basically problem here you will describe the feature requirement or the pain point that you have worked upon or you're still working okay considering the same example of d decker in the problem we can say the data that you are getting from the source is a raw data and you and your project have been focusing on how you can make it credible hence maintain the supply chain okay so this is how you can mention about the problem statement okay so this is all about p okay i hope it is clear now let us move to r what is r so r is role okay so here you will describe what is or was your exact role in this project okay either it can be a, a bi developer or it can be a tech lead or it can be a manager okay considering the same example of d decker how we will mention you can mention your role is mainly on the data cleaning and reporting side so working as a bi developer okay so in this way you can describe about role hope it is clear now let's move to c what is c c is basically contribution okay so this is the most vital point in this format okay in contribution here you have to describe what was your or is your exact contribution to this project okay For example considering the same example of dtacker you can say as a developer you have to first create the end user document for all the things that you will be showing on the dashboard then get the raw data from the source pull in any specific etl tool like altrix ssis or in a relational database like sql server or, or sap hana database or you can mention any other so after that querying only the required fields with some basic transformation and then finally pulling it in power bi where you are doing most of the cleaning and transformations and then analyzing it with the help of different charts or visuals so in this way you have to tell about your exact contribution and that will vary from project to project that you are being doing okay now let's move to the next that is t what is t t is basically timeline so it is very simple you have to mention here again considering the same example of d decker we can say the duration of the project was around 14 months or any other real number or you can say the project started 12 months ago and i am still working on the same project so in this way you talked about the duration also okay so that is timeline okay now let's move to o which is the last one in this format which is outcome okay so what you have to tell in the outcome you can say with the help of all the kpis shown on the dashboard you are able to manage the supply chain showing the end users the demand and deficit of different products so in this way you are mentioning about the positives of the project that you worked upon or you are still working on okay and after telling all these things you have to mention about your learnings from that project okay so that is also very important 
you have to explain all these things and then you have to tell at the end what you have learned from that project so as an example you can say so overall as a developer you learned how to build dashboards related to the supply chain domain and doing all the work in an agile way which helped to track and manage all the important pbis that is product backlog items and also the bugs okay so in this way you have talked about the learning also from that project that you have worked upon okay i hope it is clear to you now ipr cto framework now let me summarize all these points together and give you an example in one go considering the name of the interviewer as rahul i would start like this hello rahul uh, my name is shashank singh i have x years of development experience in business intelligence tools and technologies i have been working for d decker product d decker is basically related to curtains and fabrics that are used in the interiors at our homes and my project is related to supply chain management of its different varieties the data that we are getting from the source is the raw data we have been focusing on how we can make it credible and hence maintain the supply chain my role is mainly on the data cleaning and reporting side so working here as a bi developer as a developer i have to first create end to end user document for all the things that i will be showing on the dashboard then get the raw data from the source and pull it in sql server then querying only the required fields with some basic transformations through sql queries and then finally pulling it in power bi where we are doing most of the cleaning and transformations and finally analyzing it with the help of different charts and visuals okay the project started 12 months ago and i'm still working on the same project with the help of all the kpis shown on the dashboard we are able to manage the supply chain of the different varieties showing the end users the demand and deficit of different products or varieties so overall as a developer i learned how to build dashboards or reports related to the supply chain domain and doing the work in a agile way okay which helped to track and manage all the important pbis and bugs simultaneously okay do let me know in the comment box if you got some output from this video okay and share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you